Hey, hope you have a great day so far. Today is December 24th and Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Today on this post, I'll be telling you about XRP and XLM USD, Ripple and Stellar. See what has changed since the last time we have spoken. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away four free stocks upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit. And I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations, opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future and you should always do your own due diligence for trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below, but I will get to them a lot faster that way. Now let's see what exactly is going on in the markets first. First things first, I do like to take a look at Bitcoin dominance. Tells me where the money could be trending into, would it be altcoins or Bitcoin or neither. Currently, I am paying attention to the three day time frame because I have been mentioning that there was possible bearish divergence on the three day time frame. That actually does look like it's playing out right now. As we are seeing, the price action went from about 71% all the way back down to about 69%. If Bitcoin dominance continues to pull back or trend downwards, this could mean a lot better trading opportunities for all coins as we have seen just this past daily candle when Bitcoin dominance pulled back and a lot of these altcoins have bounced from yesterday from double digit losses to double digit gains. Now let's see what exactly could be going on in Bitcoin dominance. I'll be monitoring this as well as with Bitcoin price action. Bitcoin price action, as I said yesterday, there was still possible bearish divergence on the daily time frame. That looks a lot less likely and it looks like to be negated at this point as we have seen a pretty nasty candle that drove Bitcoin price action from about 24K to about 22.6, which was what also brought a lot of the altcoins down with it when Bitcoin dominance was trending upwards. Now, it does actually look like Bitcoin price action here is actually forming an ascending triangle pattern, which is a bullish pattern. Let's see if this actually holds. Like I said, I still do think that the 12 hour 21 simple moving average here is going to be the next strong support. So let's see if this actually holds. But I will be paying very close attention to Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action, regardless of what altcoin I am looking at. You guys let me know what you think. Now let's take a look into XLM today first. On XLM, like I said yes, uh, last time actually, on my last post, that there was a possible symmetrical triangle pattern that looks something like this. However, of course, that has to be invalidated now, especially with yesterday's nasty price action that took Stellar all the way from about 16 points, about 17 cents, all the way to about 11 cents. Okay, and finally bouncing off the weekly 21 simple moving average right here and very close to this. 0.38 fib level right here. So now it actually does look a lot more like a falling wedge pattern here. Instead, with um the let's see what is exactly the support down here. It's kind of the three day twenty one simple moving average, which is pretty in line with the bottom trend line. Which this could be like a one off occasion where it actually breached the bottom trend line. So I do still very much do uh think that this is a falling wedge pattern. You guys, let me know what you think. So this is a 68% chance of it breaking upwards. Now, if it actually does break upwards, I do have a measure target of about 27 cents. Uh, I can only read up to about 26 cents here, but just doing uh, just the difference between the uh, the opening of the pattern here, which is about 9 cents and adding it back to about 18.5 cents. So about 27 cents. Now, I did want to actually estimate this point to be the breakout point here because I do want to include this fib level to be um, below the breakout point. So when it actually does break out, it, there won't be any other lingering overhead resistance after the breakout, at least as of now. Okay, it, it could be that the moving averages could be actually on top of the price action by then, but I do want to estimate it as of right now. And that would be based on the breakout point of January 7th which should include 
the uh, Fib level right here by 18.5 cents and the measure targets about 27 cents may or may not be reached. However, something else I do also want to note is that on the three day time frame, based on the last high that was made on the price action chart has also created a pretty high reading on the RSI charts, which I think is pretty, uh, it's pretty far off to beating at about 88 and also on the weekly as well, which is about 82. And based on just the reading right now, it's still pretty low. So possible bearish divergence could happen if the breakout actually creates an equal or higher high. So something to be uh, mindful of as well. At least I'll be looking out for it. Now let's explore the bullish and bearish case scenarios for XLM right now. The bullish case scenario will obviously, if the price action can actually break out of this falling wedge pattern. I don't personally like getting involved with falling wedge patterns because both the top trend line and bottom trend line is going against me. So you guys let me know what you think on that. But that is the bullish case scenario. Simply for it to actually break out 68% chance of it breaking out. And if it actually does break out by about January 7th, 27 cents is the approximate measure target. Of course, if it actually does break out later, then the measure target will be lower. If it breaks out sooner, then the measure target would be higher. Now let's take a look into the bearish case scenario. Let's see what is actually holding the price up right now as key support. Well, the 0.618 FIB level, about 15.5 cents, is supporting the price action right now. So if this support actually breaks, let's look at what other supports are down there. We do have some hourly moving averages down there that's uh, below this FIB level right here. But if this FIB level does not hold, then I'll be looking at some hourly moving averages, four hour moving averages, and some six hour moving averages before the price action actually gets to the bottom trend line right here. And I'm sure there are some more as well. Actually, not as of now, the 12 hour 200 is still pretty down there. We'll have the daily 50 here. And finally, the three day 21 simple moving average here. So the bearish case scenario, if bearish case scenario number one, if the price action actually breaks below this 15.5 FIB level right here, then there's quite a few moving averages that could be acting as support before finally getting to the bottom trend line. Of course, the ultimate bearish case scenario, if the price action actually breaks the bottom trend line, this tells me I would actually need to adjust this bottom trend line to be steeper, which would mean that the price action could go down faster and steeper, which is not good. So that is the bullish and bearish case scenarios for XLM for today and even the near future if applicable. Now let's take a look into XRP really quickly. XRP, since that news, it has actually broke the price action and dropped it from about, I think about even as close to 60 cents, maybe not 60 cents. I think this was actually when it broke about 45 cents to almost about, um, I think about 30 cents. No, no, that was lower. It's about 21 cents. So about 45 cents to 21 cents. I think that was approximately when the news broke. Of course, uh, still would be taking that into consideration as much as the technicals. So let's take a look at where XRP right now is at. The XRP price action is trying to get back on top of 34 cents, which is the 0.38 FIB level. So very simple and very short and clear. The bullish case scenario would for the price action to start getting on top of this 0.38 FIB level starting from the hourly time frame up. This would tell me that the that this resistance right here will become support from the hourly time frame up to the can uh, the uh, to whatever time frame that we can actually get candle closes on top of this. So this is the bullish case scenario break back on top of this fib level right here about 34 cents starting from the hourly time frame up. If it does not, then the next level of support I'm actually looking at would be the 50 simple moving average, uh, which is about 31 cents. However, there is one key one that I am looking at right now, which would be the three day time frame, um, the 50 simple moving average there. If it actually closes below this 50 simple moving average within about a day, then this tells me this becomes resistance. And that is not good because past resistance becomes, past support becomes now resistance and the price action could spend some more time getting back above it. So this is what I'm looking at right now. 
Hope you guys found this helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I would love to hear them. Hope you guys manage your risk carefully. And if you guys would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.